Hi, and welcome back to FTL Easy Mode. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a playthrough with the second human federation ship you can unlock, the Osprey. Uh, this is usually the, the second, actually the third ship that you'll unlock on a given playthrough, because this is one that you get for beating the game on Easy Mode. Uh, and you can see that uh, the Osprey comes with a very balanced crew. You have one human, one mantis, one rockman, and one engi. This is a very nice starting mix because you have uh, the support capabilities of the rockman and the engi, along with the uh, combat abilities of the mantis and, to a lesser extent, the rockman again. And you've got four guys on your crew, which means you can man everything, which is very nice. Uh, the ship only starts out with a burst laser 2 as far as weaponry goes, but it comes with a second special weapon, the artillery beam, which I will get into once we actually get into combat. So, let's rename this, uh, the Dong's Law, because, you know, look at that ship. If, if it doesn't look like a Dong, I don't know what does, and I'm a 12-year-old, so I think that's funny. Anyway, we are all set, so let's get started. So if you look down here on the lower menu bar, you can see that there is a new device down there that is slowly powering up. This is the artillery beam. This is the main special feature that the Osprey has. <clears throat> it is a beam weapon that automatically fires whenever it's fully charged in combat. It pierces all shields and does one damage per room. It targets randomly... Uh, and it does fire very, very slowly until you get it powered up, but it's a nice way to complement the rather limited weaponry that you have with this ship starting off. Uh, what I typically like to do is I'll send the Engi over to man the engine room, just because that seems like a good use of his talents. I'll send the Rockman to man the shields, uh, and I will send the Mantis over to man the weapons bay. Because the Mantis moves quickly, I find that it works best to have him down at the far end of the ship. That way, if he needs to get somewhere quickly to fight off borders, uh, it's not as much of a detriment as if you put the rock man down there. Anyway, we are all set to jump, so I'm going to do my standard thing, turn on my weapon, fully power my engine, and get going. There's a store down here, but there's this uh, distress beacon up here that I'd like to check out first. And it is a rock ship that needs some fuel. We have 15 fuel, so I'll be happy to give them four. And in exchange, we get an updated map. Um, since this is just the start of the sector, that's a very good reward for us, because now we know where everything is. It looks like there's only one store on this map, so I do want to make getting there a priority. So I'm going to jump up here and fight a ship, and then make my way back down to the store. Here we come across a Federation fighter, or a rebel fighter, sorry. Uh, since I only have the one weapon to start with, I'm just going to target their lasers and then target the weapons. Uh, with any luck, we'll actually be able to destroy the ship before our artillery beam has even fully charged. And there you can see uh, they aimed straight for the artillery beam to take it out. One thing I have noticed with this ship is that uh, the, enemy, the enemy AI does tend to target your artillery beam to uh, the preference of other systems on your ship. Which is not so bad. Um, it's really more of a bonus weapon anyway, at least until you get it upgraded a few times. So, it's not too critical. And I'm going to send my Angie over to heal up while I finish off this ship. They're offering us some reward for surrendering, but we don't need any of that. And we get a much better reward for actually destroying the ship. Jump over here. Excellent! We get a free heavy laser and some scrap. Uh, the heavy laser isn't that great. It fires one shot that does two damage, but more importantly, it only takes one power. So, if I decide that I need to upgrade my weapons early on, and I don't have much scrap, that'll be a nice backup. This is an empty system, and it looks like we'll have just enough time to get to that store, so. And here we are. First thing I'm going to do is buy all of their fuel. And then, because I really want that scrap recovery arm, getting it this early in the game is the best possible time to get it. I'm going to sell that heavy laser and buy the scrap arm instead. 
with that, uh, it looks like we have to jump into an ion storm, so we'll just give this a shot and see how it goes. You can see we've lost almost all of our power, and we're facing a rebel scout ship, which means we've got to destroy it before it jumps away. Uh, they've only got one laser, so I feel like having shields is more critical than having uh, engines right now. And since I have to keep my burst laser powered if I want to take these guys out before they jump away, I'm just going to have to make do without any evasion and hopefully take these out before my oxygen gets too low as well. You can also see that my artillery beam is not charging because, like these other systems, it does require power of its own. That makes the Osprey a little bit more power-hungry than your typical ships in this game. But it's usually not too hard to manage. And we've disabled their engines and shields, so now it's just a matter of wearing them down before my oxygen gets too low. And... They are offering us missiles, drone parts, and a free anti-personnel drone. Normally I wouldn't take this, but since I'm in an ion storm and I'd like to get this fight over with as quickly as possible, I'm going to accept that, and then I can just sell that anti-personnel drone for some extra scrap. With that done, I'm going to turn on my engines and my oxygen and jump out of here. I'm actually going to stay in the nebula for now, just to delay the rebel fleet a little bit, and since I know what's in each sector, I don't have to worry about getting surprised. Uh, here we have another scout ship that's going to try and jump away. But once again, it shouldn't be too difficult to take care of, especially since I can power my systems up in this sector. There we go. They won't be jumping away now, so I can just focus on taking down their weapons and destroying them. send my Rockman in to help deal with those fires before my Engie takes too much damage. Since it's in the med bay, I'm not going to be able to heal up until I get all this fixed, so I don't want to let him get too low. that taken care of, it's time to jump again. I'm going to stick to the nebula for now. Oh, that sector is actually outside the nebula, and we come across yet another forward scout. I uh, don't usually see three of these in a row. That's somewhat unusual. And these guys have a missile launcher, which could be a little bit of a problem, but we'll see how it goes. We've taken out their engines, so now it's time to focus on their shields. They hit my oxygen, and I want to get that repaired. And now I can finally focus on their weapons. Uh, their FTL is charging again, but they are relatively low on health. So, yeah. And you'll notice that their FTL alert switched to delayed because... Presumably their pilot is down there helping to repair the ship. But I don't think that will do them much good. Get some more fuel, some more drone parts, and some more scrap. Jump back into the nebula to head towards the exit. And we have enemy boarders somewhere on our ship. Let's see where they come in. Oh! Good, they are attacking my Mantis. That's the best possible place for them to have launched their attack, since the Mantis is so handy at hand-to-hand -hand combat. And a three-on-two fight with this crew is pretty simple. I will send these guys over to heal up, and then we will be on our way. Mantis got a little bit of combat experience from that fight, so it wasn't a total waste of time. 
if we get some more crew member and I come across it at the right time, I'll probably put a crew teleporter in here and do some more boarding action. And here we come across another rebel ship. This one, thankfully, is not a scout, so it's not going to try and jump away on us. Looks like they have a system repair drone because their shields went right back up. Yeah, if you look at how quickly their systems are repairing, you can kind of deduce that they must have a system repair drone in addition to their crew fixing stuff up. That's okay though, two more volleys ought to finish them off. There we go. And that, if you looked quickly enough, was actually the artillery beam firing. So, excellent. That saved us a little bit of time, got some free damage out of it. It's a good deal all around. Here we have a pirate that is offering a bribe to not attack them. We don't like pirates, so I'm obviously going to be attacking these guys. is a more generous bribe, but it's not anything I'm really desperate for, and they're pirates, so I'm going to keep shooting them. Alright, there we go. We got 30 scrap for that. Uh, the ship we saved jumps away, but that's okay. We are doing very good on scrap right now. We have just enough time to make it to the exit. And here we're be being given the chance to sell some drone parts for scrap. I will absolutely take them up on that offer. And we'll jump to the next sector. You can either head to a Zoltan or a civilian sector. Um, I don't think it makes too much difference, so I'm just going to go to the civilian sector. And let's see, good news, we do have a store. I'm running low on fuel again, so I need to top that off as best I can. Ooh, and a crew teleporter. I'm very tempted to buy this now, but I really need more shields at this point, more than anything else. So let me upgrade my shields and then see how much scrap I have left. Yeah, not enough to get everything powered, so this will have to do for now. Distress call up here that I will answer. Single life form on the surface of a moon. Free crew member. Good news. But it's another Engie. That's nice. I'm going to send him over to man the weapons bay now. That way my mantis will be free to fight any more boarders that we might encounter. drone parts for scrap, but since I've only got one, I can't sell any. I'm going to jump through the nebula instead. See if I can slow the rebels down a little bit again. And once again, we've been boarded. Uh, and once again, they teleported literally right on top of my mantis, so this is not going to last very long. Ah, but you see, while he was fighting my mantis, there were other guys on board who managed to disable my drone system. So, they are all now in my med bay which is actually exactly where I want them to be, because now my crew can fight and heal at the same time. This will mean some more combat experience for my Mantis and my Rockman, so even if I don't get another Mantis on my crew, I might still be able to do some boarding with these two guys. And while they're finishing up that fight, I'm going to send my Engie up to repair the doors. 
and let these guys heal. I'm actually going to spend 25 more scrap to upgrade my reactor one more time and upgrade my doors because I'm tired of these borders having free run of my ship. And with the scrap recovery arm, we should not be hurting for scrap at any point in this playthrough. Uh, here we find another Ion Storm, and an automated Rebel Scout moves into attack. Uh, this is fine. Because of all those power upgrades, I can actually keep my shields, my engine, and my oxygen system powered, along with my weapons. So, this fight should not be as tricky as the first Ion Storm fight that we had to deal with. Their shields are down, so now it is time to focus on their weapons. I'll send the Mantis over to at least start working on repairing the door system. Since the artillery beam isn't even powered, there's no point in repairing it in the middle of combat. Especially now that this guy is a sitting duck. We get a decent reward for that, and now I can send my Engie down to fix up the artillery beam. And we will jump out of the nebula. This is an empty sector, so we'll move on, and we find a store right here. Uh, Normally I don't like to jump to the exit before I have to leave it, since that means you have to revisit a sector that you've already been to, but I'd like to get some more scrap before we visit that store, so I'm going to go there now. Get some free scrap missiles and drone parts, which is good. There's a distress signal over there. I should have time to visit that and the store before we have to leave this sector, so I'm going to check that out. And these guys need to be led to their destination. We will agree to do so. We get some scrap and a quest marker. Now, this is tricky. I could jump to that quest marker right now, but then I wouldn't make it back to the store before the Rebel Fleet got there. What I'm actually going to do is farm this sector a little bit and go to the store first, then the quest marker, then the exit. I'll have to fight the Rebel Fleet, but I'm doing okay, so... I'm just going to go ahead and deal with it. I'm going to buy all of their fuel. I don't have anything to sell, so I still can't get that crew teleporter, which is a shame. But once again, I was running low on fuel, so I didn't have too much choice. Uh, there's nothing else here that particularly appeals to me, so I'm going to jump up here first. And it's a nearby sun. That's okay. Make sure to power all of my systems back on. I'm actually going to target their weapons first, because I'd really like to take out that missile launcher before it gets more than one or two shots off. Yeah, that's more like it. And with the reinforced door system, I'm not super worried about fires on our ship, so... Yeah, that's in our door system, so I, I should make that a priority. The other one is right next to the airlock, so that's not an issue. Just make sure this guy doesn't get any more shots off. They're trying to jump away. Uh, they offer us some stuff for surrender. I'm actually going to take that fuel, just because I have less than I'd like. that. Hopefully we'll be able to get out of here before the sun flares again. Yep. Alright, let's check out this quest. Excellent. Three fuel, two missiles, and 35 scrap. I would say that was worth it. I'm going to jump back down here so I can get to the exit in one more jump. And before I jump it into where I know I'm going to have to fight the rebel fleet, I am actually going to upgrade our artillery beam a couple times so it'll fire faster. 
And you notice I have to put more power in it, but when I do, the charge meter drops significantly. So now it only takes about, let's see, yeah, it only takes 30 seconds to fire now instead of 50 seconds. So it's still slower than our normal weapons, but it will be firing almost twice as quickly now as it was before. And here we are fighting a rebel ship. This one has a bunch of lasers and a missile launcher and two shields, so I'm going to have to focus on taking down the shields first. And once again they hit my oxygen system and my med bay and start some fires. That was a pretty effective volley from these guys. Shields are weakened, but not completely taken out, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Sensors are not critical, and they're not on fire, because there's not a little fire icon up there. You can see the artillery beam did about four damage there, so that was nice. Their shields are down, and we've disabled their missile launcher. They keep hitting my oxygen system. We have time to just jump away here, but I'd rather at least get the one fuel from fighting these guys, so... We'll stick around to destroy them. Heal up all of my dudes. And jump to the next sector. I think this is a good time to cut things off, so I will see you next time.